Hi guys, welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. Um, you might not uh, be able to tell, but we have a special guest today uh, who is actually hiding behind this a very heavy advent calendar. Are you ready to reveal yourself? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Hello! Hi, hi, hi. I'm back after a, a bit of like a break. Yeah. But I'm back. Yeah. Christmas again. I feel like it's been like a week ago or something. Time flies yeah. so quick. 2021 just went so fast. Super fast. It was so busy for everyone. Yeah. I think and 2020 was like so like slow and lasted for ages and then 2021 everyone just Everyone was like, like what's yeah. going on? Yeah. Not, or, not organized. Like, yeah. yeah, not organized. And 2021 yeah. like just went super quick and I feel like Christmas was like, it was already and now yeah. Christmas is again. Yeah, it's like never-ending story. Never-ending story. <laughs> She's like when in like a time lapse or yeah. something. So this year, because last year we actually unboxed the Gin Advent calendar. Yeah, it was super funny. Yeah. We were a bit tipsy in like the yeah. middle of the video. But we had this idea to try every single bottle that was in there. The gin. But uh, we didn't yeah. try all of them. I think we just skipped some of them. Yeah, because some of them so, were just like the yeah. plain basic gin. Yeah. And we thought like, okay, yeah. for later. So thank God we yeah. didn't drink all of them because otherwise I would be like dead yeah, completely. Yeah, that's true. So today... Oh, this year we have this wine advent calendar. This one is from Aldi. And to be honest, you're a wine connoisseur, are you? I you're love like, wine. A red wine especially. Paulina loves drinking yeah. wine. <laughs> and I was like moaning on, 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 on Instagram and saying like, oh, let's try another gin advent calendar yeah. or something else. And, and Paulina found this super heavy. It is heavy. It's how many liters? Uh, there, there, uh, there should be like six full bottles in it, which is, I mean, there are 24 small bottles that should go, come up to. Yeah, 75... CL? What is it? CL? Uh, Something. Yeah. Six full size bottles of wine and I'm reading upside down. Okay, you're talented. Okay. <laughs> anyway. At the beginning of the video. I don't know what's gonna happen later on. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to unbox this advent calendar for you guys. Uh, we're not going to try and drink every single bottle like straight away because that will last forever. And mixing Wines is going to be very unhealthy for us. We, we have to be very particular about it. We have to start yeah. with the weakest ones and then so, just go yeah. up. We will open all of them uh, at a time yeah. and then we're going to put them, we're going to separate them. Yeah. How, what, what kind of uh, wines do we have? So we have white wine, rosé wine and then we have red wine and we also have sparkling wine, uh, both white and rosé. Which we're going to leave at the end. Yes, so we what we can do is once we find our first white wine bottle, we can actually open it and try mm -hmm. it. And then we're just going to continue with, uh, because I'm pretty sure we're going to try one of each, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so but then we don't want to mix because yeah. it's going to end up... It's going to like gradually increase the uh, strength Very of bad. the wine. And then the sparkling wine at the yeah. end. To just, uh, you know... Yeah, and we've got some cheese, we've got like cold plates so we can yeah. um, have some schnacks. Yeah. While we're talking and fancy. trying the wine, super yeah. fancy and oh, so we're just on. going to talk about like some interesting things, uh, hopefully interesting, I mean it'll be interesting for us, but mm -hmm. like, yeah, uh, well, well we we're like gonna see what wines. We're gonna see what, what, um, what plans do we have for next year, 2022, yeah. and how our life was in 2021, and in general we're yeah. gonna see, we're gonna catch up because we haven't seen each other for like a very long time. I mean, we've seen each other like yesterday. Oh, we haven't been filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been on the concert yesterday, yeah. actually. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's get going. So, that's the truth. Ah. All right, so let's start. Okay, so I'm holding it. So, find number yeah. one. It's here. Okay. Do you think it's going to be white? Hopefully, because we can just start with a, a white, n nice glass of wine in our hand. Oh, did you break it? No, luckily not. And it's red. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is Cabernet uh, Syrah by J.P. Chenet. I don't know. Okay, you're going to be reading all the names because you're like a wine taster. Wine taster. Connoisseur. Wine, wine drinker. <laughs> wine drinker. You're a wine drinker. <laughs> yeah. Professional wine drinker. So Professional. you probably, <laughs> so you probably <laughs> know all the names. It. Almost. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so uh, this is apparently rich and smooth. I like rich and smooth. I don't yes. like um, like very It's harsh. Like yeah. How do you say yeah, like with uh, tannic can, kind of like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is 13%, 13 so this is going on our red wines pile, and who knows, we might actually try it soon. But first, why? Do, do yeah? the cork or everything is open by like Oh, no, 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 you should be, we should be able to open without Amazing. any like uh, fuss. So, okay, uh, even those uh, sparkling wines I actually like screw on, so we don't have oh, to like, easy, yeah, easy. pop them. <laughs> Amazing. All right, number two over here. Uh, this is like a very sturdy, I would say, construction here. Um, definitely not something that we're going to be able to reuse, but 
Uh, rosé. I love rosé wines. Okay, so this is uh, Grenache and Sinsol. Uh, elegant and cr elegant. Crisp. And crisp. Yeah. Crisp. Yeah. Oh, I like your makeup, by the way, today. Oh, thank you. Green and purple. Yeah. Nice. It's a little bit like a, the duochrome. I don't know if you can see well, this. Yeah, I can see. I can yeah. see that. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Thank you. So this one is 12.5%. Uh, Still and strong as like the yeah. red one. So this is how it looks. Okay. So this is going to our rosé wine style. What, what did you get the box? Did we mention that? So this is from Aldi. They had these in, uh, I mean, you could buy them online. I'm not sure if you could actually purchase them in shop, but uh, yeah. How much did you pay for? Around 50 pounds. 50 pounds. So if you just, uh, if you just like for six bottles, I think it's not bad. It's pretty much the price that you would pay for like full six bottles, I mm -hmm. think. Um, but you have the variety here, yeah. so it's I not like you're you can, saving a lot on this, but... Yeah, but you can use them for, like, if you're not going to drink it by yourself, you can put them in, like, customized Christmas gift or something. Yeah, I guess you can do that, <laughs> if you're not going to drink it. Yay, Way, you have something white! Yes, yes. Oh no, this is actually a sparkling one. <laughs> Again, the same brand, JP Chanel, and this is uh, Brut, uh, Brut White Sparkling mm -hmm. Wine. I so. like the bottle, it's very... Here it is. Chic. It is actually. It is quite like, like elegant. Like the combination of the yeah. this like deep red burgundy mm -hmm. shade. Yeah. And this is 11%. All right. So we have a little bit of everything, but not, not a the single white bottle yet. of white wine I yet. I think now it's going to be white. Okay. Number so, four. So, you know, um, I'm opening like to number 12 because you're like stronger. And then I can just... Uh, yeah. So it's going to be yeah. uh, <laughs> less heavy. Uh -huh. Number four. Number four. I can't find number four. Oh, it's here. Oh, Robert calls, uh, calls them pig guts. What? Pig guts. Pig, pig guts. guts. Oh, like, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why, because I like them, but yeah. White. Yay! Yeah. I knew <laughs> so it. So this is Calvet uh, Limited Release, Sauvignon Blanc, and this is... Uh, well, 2020 was done in 2020. I don't oh. know if it's a good sign because 2020 was, um, you know, everybody knows how 2020 was. And this one is actually 13%. 13? Yeah. Quite strong. So stronger than the pink one, than the rosé one. still, you've got white, so we're going to try it. <clears throat> okay. So, pass the glasses. Oh, the, the other one, the other ones. These were for like a um, oh, sparkling. Champagne. Yeah. Boom, boom. So this is how it looks. Okay. Pour it, pour it, pour it. I don't know why I actually sniffed it. I'm not going to pour like um, much because, uh, or should I pour like everything? No. Yeah. Just a little bit for now, just yeah? Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. what? Okay. Okay. It just doesn't really matter. Actually. It's not like there's a much in it, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it smells very nice. It does. It does smell very nice. I mean, I, I'm thought, not... it's, I thought it's going to smell like, you know, like the church wine. <laughs> Like, Have quite you tried cheap. Yeah, no, obviously I did. You asked me yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I know, but our, maybe and then our viewers like, don't. How do you know. say, um, Minister? I don't know. How do you call the person who actually. But, well, I mean, we are like raised Catholics. Uh, so you have those like. You know, boys. The, the boys that are helping uh, priest on. Uh, during the Mass. Yeah. The reading uh, or the, you know, the Bible and stuff. In what, what are they called? Yeah, but Albert was actually one of them. Well, we call them ministranti, ministrant, ministrant. Yeah. Minister? Minister of... <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't know. know. It yeah. doesn't sound right, but oh, maybe... Oh my god, no, no, no. Yeah, I was drinking wine, but nobody can hear that. Don't, don't say yeah. it to anyone, yeah. She I... was stealing it from the priest, so the cardinal sin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's drink it. <laughs> okay. It Not happened sure. ages ago. Was it worth it though? Was it good? Mm -mm. It tasted very cheap. No, they don't not, don't have expensive, expensive uh -uh. taste. You think? <laughs> but that's good. Do you know? I actually realized that white wines uh, with like those green bottles are actually slightly better than uh, those that are like not in the green bottles. I don't know. I might like be the imagining clear, this. Clear, clear yeah. bottles. Because look, this one is green. God, to be honest, I don't like white wine. I prefer red. Definitely. I prefer red mm. or a, like rose is my best, mm. my favorite. Really, one. I do mm -hmm. prefer red, but yeah. I can drink like I used to drink like a whole bottle mm. of the rose and eat like full slice of like baked cheese or something. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not anymore. Yeah, but this one's good, right? I'm getting drunk for a white wine. Is like, it's good. Hmm. Mm. Do you know, I don't really like when white wine has this a kind of like a perfumey kind of, um, it tastes like, like floral perfume. I don't like when it this tastes like, like, mm -hmm. like, you know, like the very bottom shelf, 
like Yabol. Yabol, yeah. Yabol. <laughs> Commandos. Oh my god. <laughs> Yabol. Uh, about Yabol, yesterday when we went to um, to the concert, yeah. this mood um, cider. cider tastes like Yabol. Three tastes <laughs> that I was like, <laughs> I was gonna be sick. No, Yabol was actually very sweet. Like, it's But you can sweet, taste shitty. this yeah. Yeah. Sweet flavor. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> Anyway, it wasn't that bad. I mean, the uh, malt cider wasn't that bad. Yeah, but I wouldn't really recommend. This is like the cheapest wine in Poland. I know you liked it because you had two two glasses yesterday. <laughs> oh, like both like... in both yeah. hands, like drinking one and drinking the other one at the same time. Not my fault, though. Cheese. Not my fault. Here you go. Yep. Okay, so this is our this uh, is platter. our cold plate. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to Help try yourself. these and then maybe some cheese. Yes, thank you. So, what are your plans for Christmas? We're going to Poland, hopefully. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully, because, you know... So much bad things are happening now in Poland. Mm -hmm. Like, not Brexit. Well, yeah. Brexit. Jesus, what am I talking about? <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> coronavirus. Uh, and it's happening everywhere, but, like, Poland yeah. is, like, the government is so crap. Mm -hmm. And they know Yeah, know and then this, uh, this kind of situation on the um, eastern border, like... Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows what's gonna happen, yeah. what's happening, and there is like... I, yeah. I, I bet you are watching news and stuff, but it's like getting yeah. super, super uh, yeah. dangerous at the moment. By the way, it's actually a good way to try some of the uh, Aldi wines, and um, we can, for example, note that this one is actually like a really nice white wine, so... Yeah, I'm gonna take yeah. a photo of this, because I... Yeah. I don't like white wines, but that one is like... What, what, what can you eat with the white wine? Usually it goes like with fish, uh, or like... Um, Vegetarian kind of meals. Okay, so red is going with meat. More like meaty stuff, like um, or like white wine could go with like chicken, for example, like you know lighter kind of. Like okay, meals. what about rosé? Rosé is, I Desserts? think, yeah, mm -hmm. or like just like you know, just to drink it like that. I don't think I could just pair like rosé wine with meals, but I think probably depends on which. Just on its own, wine. just like yeah, yeah, it's just, just like sitting a, and doing yeah. nothing and just drinking rosé. <laughs> which yeah, pretty much every single wine every, goes. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Okay, so find number five. It's an elbow exercise, isn't it? It is yeah. an exercise, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's as big as my, as my head, not in my head, like my body. Yeah. Like the <laughs> torso. Hey. Okay, number five over here, and we have some red wine, and this Ooh, is Syrah. This nice is as well. yeah, this is twenty twenty again, thirteen for thirteen point five percent. <laughs> Am I drunk already? I can't be right. Uh, so what does it say? That's something in French, which I can't really. You can speak French. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, no. <laughs> Do you remember when we've been filming those uh, unboxing uh, beauty boxes and stuff, and there was like loads of French yeah. stuff, and you were like, <laughs> you were talking French. <laughs> you don't remember that. <laughs> I was trying to pronounce it the best I could, <laughs> but your glasses yeah, you... look funny, like from behind us. Um... <laughs> look the same. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Anyway, we have some red wine here. Okay. Number six. Number six over here. Don't break no. nails. Don't break you know nails what? I don't. I, I'm not too bothered because I need to change my nails like tomorrow. I know they don't really need changing yet. I just have like a really like Very almost nice like Christmas a Christmassy. Eve, right? But the thing is, uh, this is the only time I can go to my uh, nail technician mm. uh, before Christmas because you know hopefully I'm going to Poland. Um, Did you got tickets? Yeah. Okay. So. You know, you never know. Um, and ooh, champagne. Ooh, but this is a rosé. Champagne. Champagne. Yes, yeah, sparkling wine. Rosé, dry, uh, sparkling wine. Uh, and this is eleven point five percent. Still strong. Yeah. So I will have my nails done. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, and I will just have more like neutral colors because they so need to last like for a quite long time. Or something? I can't really do anything Christmassy because. From tomorrow till like the end, like the, the after like uh, New Year's, that's like a little bit too long time, and they'll be like halfway like, oh. through. That will look disgusting. 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 Yes, but I would just you know I can paint over the gel kind of cover with like some reds or something like that around Christmas. So I'm not too bothered. Anyway, number anyway 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 <laughs> anyway anyway. <laughs> yeah, number um, seven. Oh my any. God. Was it supposed to do a two? I sure it's not six. Oh, that was six here, and oh, we okay. had this like red. Um, Champagne, no red, 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 pink. Okay, so we have. Ooh, ooh, that one looks very like fancy. The bottle. Look at the bottle, like so slim. And mm. so this is the rose wine, uh, Calvé, and this is uh, something in French, something in French. We don't really know much about it, do we? But it looks quite cool. Very feminine. Twelve point five percent. So uh, we're going to. Well, 
maybe in a second half we just find something rosé and we'll open it, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that we don't okay. drink all the time, but also like let's not wait till the very end. Very end. Uh, okay, so number eight now. Eight. Over here. Did you bought yourself, did, did you bought any advent calendars, like just for yourself or for, for Rob? No, I actually made some advent calendars uh, for yeah. Out of I mean, I have like many boxes, like advent calendar empty boxes. So uh, we've made one for Robert's mom, uh, for Robert's stepdad, and for my mom. Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. So yeah, these are actually such a good idea, you know. Uh, I love advent calendars, but I usually open them before uh, advent period. But you know, at least I can make some for yeah. They mean they mean bought me reasons uh, advent calendar. So oh. every day you've got like a different flavor of reasons. Oh, very sweet. That's cool. So look, this is another one in a green bottle. So this one is more, yeah, it's more clear than the previous one. Mm -hmm. This is Colombard Chardonnay, and this is a crisp and aromatic. Oh, so apparently. I think Chardonnay is going to be more like um, yeah. the flavor that I don't like. Maybe eleven point five percent, and this is another white wine. I do like the variety because look at the bottles; like no repeats. I mean, I there are going the to be some. Different shapes. I yeah. mean, the rosy one and the red one, those are the same, the same yeah. ones. Yeah, but they're, they're like But the rest is like yeah. variety. Different it's very colors, nice. yeah. Very cool. So this is actually quite cool. I'm not, I don't, I know that there are going to be some repeats here, but uh, yeah, I mean, not too much. Number nine over here. Number nine. What's in box number nine? So this is another sparkling wine. This Blue, one, lo this one, looks, this one mm -hmm. looks like a cheap uh, Russian... Champagne when so you're getting for you. yes, yes, oh yeah. yes when you're getting for like near sea yeah. the cheap one for like yeah. five quid or something yeah that was so I mean yeah. when you were that like 16, my, 18 that like, was oh. my drink of choice when I was like in my early twenties and we were like we never had money because we partied so much Obviously. that you didn't have money so there was like Russian uh, kind of champagne Russian label champagne. Oh, no not Russian this label. is actually champagne because you know that like uh, champagne. You know, not many actually uh, sparkling wines can use the word champagne. They are usually come from France or from Russia. And I don't really know why, but those Russian, like, really cheap champagnes are proper champagnes, not, not sparkling wines. So, so oh, the one from Russia? Yeah, Soviet Koyegristoy, and there was like a Russian, you know... <laughs> Russian label. Yeah, <laughs> Soviet Koyegristoy or something like that, yeah. Or Rus She's a connoisseur, yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, but that was like... Professional. <laughs> can, you say, can you say it again? The Russian, what was it? Sovietskoye <laughs> Igristoye or Sovietskoye yeah. Igristoye. See? Mm -hmm. Do we have any Russian followers over here? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Salute! No, I mean, that's Drovia. That's Drovia. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's. Uh, because in, Pol in Polish we have Nazdrovia. Nazdrovia. But uh, Russian is like a little bit like. Nazdrovia. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Salute. Zdrastvujcie. No, not Zdrastvujcie. No, but it doesn't. It doesn't mean. No, like, but it's like it. I thought. I thought we were looking for a Russian word. <laughs> Zdravstvo is like thank you something. No. Oh, it's like hi. Okay, we don't speak Russian. Okay, so just to make it clear, we don't speak Russian. Like, uh, have you ever learned Russian? No. I always wanted, but um, not. It's not that I, I think always wanted. I, th I kind but of I think wanted. It's, but I think it's the time to learn Russian. No, English, like po mm. English, Russian, and Chinese. Those are gonna be the three. Yeah, I think Russian would be a bit easier like, than Chinese mm, for us. Definitely. <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna I have think some Japanese. Actually, I learned Japanese for a while. Like, like actually. Do you think lessons... we're gonna have some Japanese wine? Maybe. I, I don't think so. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be very interesting. <laughs> anyway, a champagne. Uh, no champagne. Sparkl uh, uh, sparkling wine. It says sect in German. Sect. Wine sect. Sect. If you're drinking loads of wine, you're an insect. <laughs> you're insect. Insect. <laughs> you're insect. <laughs> and we're not drunk okay. yet. Number ten. Oh, do you know what? I miss. I've missed filming. Really? Yeah. So I told you, like, it's it's bringing me very like good memories and emotions, and it, like I, I, I love mm. doing this. Okay, so we're going to talk about that more about our future plans. So this is our first repeat. So this is another red wine. Uh, they are the same. Yeah? Oh, the same. Okay. Oh, okay. So the first repeat. We're gonna we're gonna sell it on eBay. So keep your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Eleven. So it's almost your turn to open these. Yes. Um, two more for if me. If I'm gonna be struggling with opening, I'm gonna still keep on holding this, and you can yeah. carry on. It'll be fine, I think. Be fine. And oh, we same have... repeat. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So this is our rosé wine. So yeah, we have another repeat. But I do like the fact that if you have those repeats, they were like separated by a couple of like items, like Days. different items. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's good. So okay, number twelve. Is it going to be another repeat or something new? Let's see. Let's see. Let's find number twelve, which I can't. 
21, but that's not... Oh, here. Imagine if it would be missing one number. Ooh, that's gonna be sparkly one. Yeah, I think we have, we this, have one this one already. as well. Yeah. Oh. No, it's not this one. It's this one. Yes, yeah, so we have another sparkling uh, wine. White sparkling Less wine. to drink. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine 24 okay. bottles. Okay, we're yeah. swapping now. Now it's light. It's much oh, lighter now. God. Much lighter. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Okay, so it was number 12, so 13. Lucky 13. So hopefully this is going to be a very lucky number for me. So I'm aiming for white. No, you're aiming for pink rosé. Rosé. Because we're going to try that. But one. it's not. It's it's. it's Sauvignon white. Blanc. Is it something we, we have already? Yeah, I think so. Is it this one? Sauvignon Blanc. No, this one was Colombard Chardonnay. And also, it's not a repeat. And this one is Sauvignon Blanc. So it's not a repeat. It's, it's the same brand, but a same different... brand, but it's a different one. So original Sauvignon Blanc. What does it say here? Crisp and zesty. Crisp and zesty. What does it mean zesty? It's like um like um like like a school class citrus like you Zesty is like um like citrusy kind of fruit. Okay. You know. And this like one has eleven point five percent. So it's still strong as well. Um, oh! I have a little fly in my wine. Do you know what? And it's a bit like open. Can you see that? Oh! That is. Oh no! But this is open here, but it's not open here. So that's oh good. yeah, yeah. It's like uh, probably like they didn't really, you know, take care of the packaging that well. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my side. Uh, so number fourteen. Fourteen. And I want to 14. do with the fly. With what? I have the dead fly in my wine. I th I think he wants to drink it. Fourteen. Oh, is it another same brut? Yeah, we have that one. Is it same so one? this is the third of these, yeah. Third one, third yeah. the same one. Yeah. So I think uh, when I checked, because there is a list of the wines on the back here, and I think some of them are actually like three times, but uh, yeah, but that's uh, I mean, there's nothing that should be like four times in here, so. Yeah. Number anyway. 15. Oh, again. Sparkly. Do you sparkly? have this one? Rosy yeah. dry, sparkly wine. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. Is it this one? Rosy dry. Is yeah. it the same, is it yeah, color? The yeah. Same one. Okay, so we have this one double. 15. Number 16. Are you still drinking the white wine? Yeah, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to avoid this this fly, you know. Oh, okay. Kind of figure that out, I think. Just stick your finger in it. Yeah, but I can't. You know, it's not really that easy, to be honest. I think it might be still alive. But. Mm. Should we do it RSPCA? <laughs> oh, and there's another same bottle. Uh, do the, you want it to go? The, the, the slim one. Oh, to try it. Definitely. Yeah, because we were supposed to give, drink like a. Rose one. Okay, I'm yeah. going to take this from your. I think it might be alive still. I don't know. Anyway. Um, Anyhow. I need to, <laughs> I need to Anyhow. finish this a little bit um, before another fly just gets in it. So we will try this one. The, the slim bottle looks very feminine with the pink. Uh, also very elegant. It is very nice. Imagine yeah. how the big bottle would, would look. Yeah. It's very nice. Probably similar but bigger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. It smells like a normal rosé wine. Mm-hmm. And tastes like a normal rosé wine. I miss that taste. Of rosé wine or mm -hmm. general wine? Been, of rosé wine, I haven't been drinking for a while. Uh -huh. Okay, which cheese I haven't tried, maybe not. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure, sure. <laughs> so yeah. I'm not sure, sure. The gin advent calendar that we had last year, mm -hmm. where did you get it from? It was... Um, it wasn't from Aldi or something? No. no. But Aldi actually this year, they had four types of 2000 calendars. They had beer one, I actually unboxed the yeah. one. Yeah, I unboxed that one with Robert, uh, but yeah, the beer advent calendar with Robert, and then um, I got this uh, Prosecco advent calendar, which I unboxed by myself because... Which is almost empty. It's not because I, I drank it, it's because mm -hmm. some of it in, is in the fridge. <laughs> anyway. Half empty. I think rosé is like just like rosé, mm -hmm. it doesn't have like a... So, with white wine, you were actually expecting something that we didn't like, and it was actually really good, really it was good. surprisingly good. And the rosy one, one is like, like you could like pretty much a normal rosy. Yeah. yeah, I didn't expect. I, I thought it's gonna be something else, but it's like it's like a normal one. It's what? It's nice. Yeah, that's just that. Hmm? Should we keep on going? Mm-hmm. Cool. 
Dum da 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 Do we have this one? Mm -hmm. that, yeah, we have this one. Yes. So, so it's a red wine. Sira. Yep. Sira. Yeah, this is a little bit peppery one. It's nice though. We, how like do you know? is usually sir, yeah. You try it. I love this particular wine, but um, <clears throat> that type of wine. Sparkly one. Hmm? Again, the Russian label. Russian label. Brut what is that? Dargent. Yeah. Chardonnay. Yes. I think we might try the one with the red kind of the top because it looks nicer, don't you think, this one? Mm -hmm. 19. Oh, it's going to be white. Calvet Sauvignon Blanc. This was the one that we liked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So that one was very nice. Mm -hmm. um, number 20, close to 19. Imagine that would be like a special surprise with like a voucher for for wine for wine <laughs> or something. I don't think it will be, but My oh, lot. that's a new one, yeah. Mm. So we have this by this brand Calvet. This is limited release, also uh, from Bordeaux, uh, and this is twenty nineteen. So before I, you know the whole pandemic thing happened. Produced in France, fourteen percent. Oh, fourteen. That's a strong one. That's a strong one, and doesn't say doesn't uh, say what. Was the taste or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot in French, Very so nice. yeah. This is this is the wine. All right. Nineteen twenty twenty one. We're almost at the end. I mean. Twenty one is on the top. Have a sip of the wine before. Sparkly. <laughs> I have to. Okay. Jeez, because the hole is a little bit smaller and the bottle is big. <laughs> push, push. <laughs> Yeah, got oh it. My God. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> I think we've got this one three times, two times. Is it this one? Yes. That's okay, so this is the one that we have like three times. Yeah. It was very hard to take it out. Yeah, that was really. I mean, I could tell because I had to pull this back. Mm. Twenty-two. We're almost at the end. Oh, that's a white one. These are getting harder to get Sauvignon out. Sauvignon Blanc, I think we have this one as well. No, the lighter one. Yeah, so I yeah. yeah, so this is the second bottle of the Sauvignon Blanc. Did you notice that the bottle has like the... Yeah, like a dip. Of like a dip like. over here so you can hold it properly. I think it's too for like a... So if you're like drunk, you won't really... To lose your bottle. Yeah. 23 on the bottom. That's a new is one. It, is it? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Because yes, I think, I'm sure. Oh, because we have this, and this is this is Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, and this one is fourteen percent. So I like the bottle. I, th I think it's going to taste very. I don't know, but I'm imagining something warm, like cozy fireplace, because oh. the bottle is dark. So it is very dark. We can try that one. Mm -hmm. But, you know, first things first, we need to... <laughs> uh, we need oh, to... is it the last one? 24? 24 is the last one. Oh, okay. So this is the last one now. No, I'm okay. taking the last one. That went fast. It wasn't, I mean, we've, re we've been recording for half an hour already, but I'm also like drinking. <laughs> oh, so. this would be nice if it could be like a gold bottle with like, I don't know, vodka maybe. Oh, oh that wasn't the third very... One. Uh, that wasn't very um, creative because they gave us the third bottle of this wine. Um, as the last kind of drawer. I think, you know, it, they would actually go better. I mean, I think it would work better if they gave us something completely new, like, you know. Like like a surprise, yeah. surprise. Yeah. Or well, maybe at least something that doesn't repeat, but... You can use it as a champagne for, like, New Year's Eve, so maybe they gave Do you know, bottles? I've noticed that actually British people drink a lot of champagne or Prosecco around Christmas time. Oh, do they? What yeah, people? it's like when you go. Yeah, when you go to like Christmas markets, you see people drinking. Um, oh, glass of prosecco, like yeah. glass of champagne. It is very English Christmassy and... here. Whereas in Poland, I mean, you don't really find it like very Christmassy. No, more for like New Year's Eve or yeah. like fancy parties or just around Christmas. I remember like usually like when I was a kid, like vodka was pretty much <laughs> after like the dinner. You know, the vodka was a, vodka. a drink mm -hmm. of choice. But these days, I think like most. Houses. I mean, uh, my family table we get like wine. 
Sometimes mm. maybe like some like whiskey gin or whatever something mm. from yeah. the first. But Moon why wine. to the, the or like liqueur. um liqueurs? Yeah. Oh yeah, liqueurs like uh, advocate and Advocat, stuff. Yeah. yeah, or Kafka. Yeah, oh yeah, these things. But like Prosecco is not very Christmassy in Poland. So yeah, this is the advent calendar fully unboxed. And it's much lighter now. <laughs> so you lighter. can use it as a table. So let's say just we're gonna put it in front of us yeah. and with the dry, uh, I mean yeah. cold plate in front of us so it's easier to grab it mm -hmm. and get some schnacks. Um, okay. So now do you yeah. think we should try a red wine or should we try the one of those sparkly wines? Yeah, I think we, like, we, we can leave the sparkly maybe later to celebrate okay. and just celebrate. Do you know, uh, I, we had this like amazing idea to just grab, you know, go higher and higher, but we still have this pink wine to, or reservoir wine to finish. So I think it won't really work that well. We just, you know, it was just like a mix. What do you mean? Like so, a, so what should we just We'll zip probably it? have to drink it at some point anyway. Okay. Like what now? Or just try the rest? Yeah, so we can try the rest okay. and then drink it later and then, okay, well, we can drink it now anyway. <laughs> Anyhow. Like Have you it. tried those crackers? Yeah, I've tried it. It's very nice. So actually... Be beetroot uh, yeah, crackers. Yeah, did you go to Lidl? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they have those like beetroot crackers. They have loads of um, Christmassy ish taste like mm -hmm. cheese oh my god the cheese you can get in the shape of um, Christmas tree really and uh, like um, it's packed like a Christmas present with like a ribbon on top oh. so that's very nice oh. uh, Paulina tell me how is your YouTube going? It's going quite good. So it's, when is going to be your first anniversary? Was first it? anniversary without start, start ship has sailed already. Oh, <laughs> we're it? going to we're heading towards our second anniversary. Oh, the second anniversary yeah. in February. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. How, is it, how is it going? <laughs> I feel like being interviewed at the moment, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> yeah, how, it's how, going quite yeah. well. We actually reached one thousand subscribers. So Yay! thank you guys. <laughs> But yeah, that was like a long uh, way. Long to, journey. Yeah. Uh, but I think, you know, we started in 2020, which was this, you know, amazing year that everything stopped for like a year. Uh, and we, I think it just kept, kept us sane. Like, you know, you, you were coming to record like oh, yeah. um, against all Lots like of restrictions. <laughs> yeah. But we're doing that. I think that kept us sane, you know, to some extent that we had something to do. Other than like work and just you know sitting at home. Actually, we were so. adapting to the situation that was mm. going on in the and yeah. like everywhere. Mm. So we were filming videos and vlogs and and stuff like this. Yeah. So I'm I'm very grateful that I was like part of your growing mm. your 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 YouTube channel. It was very really good to have you. It was like you know we were just I was just beginning so. It was like I was uh, very excited like yeah. to come and like film and yeah. we were doing all the stuff and just like mm. opening those boxes and doing swatches. Yeah. Yeah. Is, it, is your YouTube anniversary kind of like around that time? Mm. Did you start in December? I started in December. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, I I had a break now. I'm mm. I, actually I'm I'm having a break now. Not like a mental breakdown, but maybe ish mental breakdown. Um it's been it's it's now like a second month that I'm having a break from social media and uh, when I've been watching vlogs and some makeup artists um, mm -hmm. YouTube channels and they were like you know they ha they had some mental breakdown because of like mm. bad followers and oh, yeah. like those negative comments and stuff like this and like the social media is going on their mind and then they, they're like mental health and stuff I was mm -hmm. like what are you talking about just get yourself together everything is going to be fine and now i think not mm -hmm. like saying about the like negative comments but in some kind of a way it's like affecting me as well so mm -hmm. i decided to have like a bit of break and i think from maybe january i will start doing it again but in like a completely different way because i was mm -hmm. trying to like fit in in mm -hmm. this makeup artists environment and stuff and social media thingy but i think i just need a break until the end of this year and then i, I will, think you just will need start. to do you like you you're just not, just not, my own stuff like, yeah yeah because mm. i was just like looking at like what mm. people are doing and i was trying to be like not the same but similar doing i things. mean you have to kind of like uh follow some paths first be be before you are able you're to like, find figure your out own. yeah but uh, i kind of know what you mean because when i when we first started it was supposed to be a little bit different anyway yeah uh and uh it kind of like led us to this point where we are now but um like honestly 
our channel is Random Lifestyle Vlog. We haven't done that much vlogging <laughs> since <laughs> now, but we are we are planning to. We are planning to um, include a little bit of like vlogging. But um, I'm like super yeah. amazed at like how consistent you are and how many videos you're posting and like how much yeah. work you're putting in like doing the those videos. That the, the fact that there are two of us it actually helps. And so how much money you're spending for like all those products yeah. and everything. But you know, this is actually. This is actually another thing. I was spending money before I had this channel and Robert was yeah. like, maybe if you have to spend that much money, maybe maybe just create your channel and do something with that. And I was like, yeah. But I kind of treat this as a, a little bit of an excuse now. Like, you know, I spend money because you know I have a channel. So <laughs> I think <laughs> I spend a bit more money now even for that. But yeah, at least maybe it will just, you know, it's leading me to something, you know? Like, at, at least I have this, like, this is like a, like a, you know, it kind of like fills my life with something interesting, yeah. you know? It's not like so. you're working, mm. waking up in the morning, going to work, and like your mm -hmm. day is looking like the same. You've yeah. got something extra, That's which true. is keeping going. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, it's been my second month where I've been not recording anything on my YouTube mm -hmm. channel and not doing much on my um, working social media. Mm -hmm. And when we're filming now, I feel like no, yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like like a kid now. Like you know, I've got toys and I'm like playing again, mm -hmm. and it's like giving me vibe again. And like, you know, this like 2021, yeah. the, 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 the year was like up and down and more downs and stuff. But it was so stuff. busy, I can't believe how busy it was. It was so busy and I feel like, you know, we had, oh, I feel like, oh my god, we had Christmas already. And mm -hmm. it's now again yeah. Christmas time, so. Well, I, like my day job, it's been busy too. So, I mean, this YouTube channel, we've been like doing quite a lot, plus my day job. But I also know that your day job, uh, plus like you're helping. Um, Damon your running the studio. Yeah. And uh, like a lot of events and stuff like that, so that's a lot, right? That's yeah, like, I'm doing, um, I've did the eyebrow and lashes and waxing and lamination, all those courses. But in ninety percent, I think I'm focusing mm. more on running the studio and helping my boyfriend to run the studio and to push this in some kind of a way because yeah. I know it's gonna like bring us more income. But like, it's something for for the people. I'm mm -hmm. not like looking just about that, like the money, but it's it's helping people to like sur survive in those yeah. hard times because you know this is like a like a kind of like a, um i mean with the studio with the dancing studio because uh, it feels like a kind of like a second family or second home yeah. it's very like a homely kind of feeling so you when know? you're coming to the show you feel like yeah. in a different world because you're finishing work and then you're going yeah. to the studio and you're like completely forgetting yeah. about the work and enjoying what we're yeah. doing at the studio whoever so. you are whatever you do you can just go go there there's like a very inclusive kind of space yeah yeah uh, but also like you're teaching classes, so that's another thing that's you another just thing kind of like, like spend a lot of time on. Yeah, and I feel like when I'm teaching, um, I I'm just forgetting about the problems, you know, surviving. Because I don't know if you know, but Arthur is actually a dancer, like a trained dancer, and he teaches, what do you teach? A so dance I hall? teach dancehall and mm -hmm. heels, commercial heels at the well, moment at the yeah. studio. Mm -hmm. I used to do pole dancing, but I think it's not my cup of tea, so I left it mm -hmm. behind. I still can do some stuff. Uh, but I'm more focusing on, 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 on dancing, which is like bringing me really yeah. happiness and, 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 and I'm enjoying this yeah. a lot. It's like a massive, like a burst of energy. I've yeah. been to your classes quite a lot of time, but yeah, it's like a very energetic. You also do salsa, right? But I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't do salsa. Latin, Latin, <laughs> Latin salsa. I don't do salsa. Well. But yeah, dance school is actually... That's, yeah. that's my thing. Mm -hmm. And heels. And I'm pushing myself even more for heels classes now. And mm -hmm. I got this amazing pair of heels, like they're so big and like so sparkly. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, oh. and I've got workshops in December. And it's actually yeah. on the, what's the day? Is it Sunday? No. In Next week, next week on Sunday, oh, yeah. I've got workshops and they're sold out. So 16 spaces are sold out. Okay, that's So cool. I can't wait for this because it's going to be but... super sexy and we're going to be stripping a little bit. So I can't wait. Yeah, okay. I can't wait for that. <laughs> can't wait for that. Sexy. Just before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, let's maybe open another bottle. Red one now. Oh, yeah. Um, can, can we open this one? This one? Yeah. Sure. The warm one. The one that I'm thinking is going to be warm and nice and... So this is, is the called? Bordeaux uh, Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon from 2020. You do sound French. I don't think I do, but I think, I think you should it's take because some French classes. <laughs> I think it's because you don't speak French. It seems to you like that I sound French. Ah. <laughs> I don't think I do. No, no, what, what are you doing? She's like, smelling the bottle. <laughs> Don't smell the bottle, just give me your glass. It smells very fruity. It might be warm, as you said. Told you. I've got classes tomorrow. I need to be alive. Well, we're fine now. Also, I think, you know, with the wine of the calendar, it's a little bit easier than with the gin. This I remember gin so... it was so, like, it was so strong. <sighs> and we were drinking this neat without any, like, lemonade or something because we kind of wanted yeah, we... to... 
No. At some point, we oh, started, we started with, something. with lemonade and then yeah. just yeah. like carry on, carry on, carry on. Yeah. And they had very nice uh, scents. Yeah, but like a chocolatey or something. Cho oh, yeah. the chocolate mm -hmm. one was the best one. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Oh my god! <laughs> Jak pierogi ze śliwkami. Oh my god. <laughs> because you know, pierogi, I mean probably like uh, most of the people who live in the UK actually tried some pierogi at some point because they're like quite a lot of like Polish shop, Polish restaurant and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, we do have uh, pierogi with like fruit inside, like sweet pierogi. So Arthur said that this is actually very similar to the plum Pi pierogi. Plum, yeah, dumplings mm. with the uh, plums mm. and cinnamon. And whipped cream. Oh god. It's like a dessert you can put. Oh, like it's very really nice. I know, right? Mm -hmm. It's very like gentle. It's not like, you know, sometimes you have like very tannic kind of like. And you can like feel it on your, on your thumb. On your mm -hmm. thumb. Thumb? 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 On your thumb. <laughs> Thongs? <laughs> on your thumb? <laughs> on your thumb, you can taste like. On your tongue. On your tongue. Na yaziku. Thang. I know, but uh, what did you tongue. get from that? Yeah. yeah on so your tongue. Yeah. On your tongue, you can taste like. You can feel. Like a different thingy, like something on your... Yeah, on your, yeah, yeah, like, I, I kind of like aftertaste, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But this one is really it, nice. It, it, yeah. It is strong because it's 14%, but it's very like kind of like gentle and mild, like feels like, you know... Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna take a photo of this one and this one. So I'm gonna put it on the side, so those are my... Where, uh, where is the green one that you want to take? My favorite one. Green one, white one, green slash green one. This one. Oh, this one. Okay. What was the first one that I liked, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So I oh, got... that brand Calvet is actually really nice because you know they all are like, from the same brand Calvet. Oh, Calvet. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Mm, good eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's still sober. So, uh, what we're planning to do, Robert and I, we're planning to like we're going to Berlin and we kind of want to when? do like a um, before Poland. I didn't didn't I tell you? Berlin. Hopefully, right? Like girl, is... <laughs> what the hell? So we're when? planning to go to Berlin uh, on the fourteenth. So we've got fifth day. On the 14th. Mm, Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to Berlin. We're going to stand, uh, stay there until Saturday. You know, after that Tuesday. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> after then, Tuesday is Saturday. Yeah. And then we're going to uh, Poland. So we're going to spend a couple of days in Poland. And Good then we go to like my mom's... Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, this is... Uh, hopefully, right? I mean, I hope this, these things will happen. But we want to make like, a vlog from Berlin. So we'll see oh, how it's gonna going to... Oh, we're going to make a vlog? Do. Yeah. Wow. We want to try. But, Are you um, gonna post it in December or January? December probably because it's very going to be, it's going to be very Christmassy. Unless we're going to end up stuck in our hotel room, then I don't think it's going to be very Christmassy or very much of a vlog material. Oh my God. I hope we're not gonna but... spend Christmas in a hotel. So, <clears throat> what are your plans for for your YouTube channel? I asked this question. What we are your... did, but like I don't think we went into much details. But like we want to. Add okay, more... so what what are your plans? For uh, I'm stuck with it now because I can't reply with my mouth full, so yeah, <laughs> I'm going to wait like that. So what is your plan for um for for random lifestyle vlog for twenty twenty two? I think we're going to continue with what we're doing at the moment. Are you gonna change um, the background? <laughs> Finally. He Sorry, I'm so it. savage. He hates it, he but, just like keeps telling like yeah, you have the same it. thing all I the time. But I get well, I gave you for like for your birthday or something Christmas yeah. this year. Yeah, but the problem is it's a little bit too short for this uh, sofa, so we have to have something underneath, like something white, and then put this. We can have to figure out. Well, what. just need something for like you know this area for filming. Mm. Once we finally what moved to like a different you? place, which I don't know. Grey or something. No, like it was like a um, turquoise. Turquoise. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And yeah. we still waiting. It's mm. been yeah. it's been second year now, and she didn't change the background. Oh, we did change this. The pillows. No, this too. Did you? This is like, yeah, sometimes like white, sometimes oh, it's like gray. yellow. Yellow? Yeah, it was yellow for a bit. You know, you've, you've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, so we're planning to pretty much do the same thing that we've been doing. Uh, oh, you said something about vlogging. More. But yeah, we, we definitely want to do more vlogging. We want to just... Uh, do you know, this is actually a cool thing because first of all, you kind of... Uh, it can kind of motivate you to do things, you know, because we always want to do things like go somewhere, I don't know, just go to like places, events and stuff like that. And uh, it, this is like an additional motivation. You're going to vlog about it. So yeah, I mean, let's do that. Let's let's do that. Well, let's not sit at so home do you have like it's a raining. So do you, do you have like a plan for like maybe the 
first term of the year to like go here, 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 and then do the vlogs. Not yet, but I think uh, just I think we're just going yeah, we're just going to just do whatever we want to. But we kind of like you know keep that vlogging in mind and keep our phone charged and everything and just like you know just record keep those bits. Vlogging. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's going to be like very often, but maybe like once a month, like a kind of vlog entry. I think it could be interesting. I mean, obviously it's up to you guys if you find it like interesting. Then we're going to continue doing that. If you find it super boring, then I guess we'll stop. You never know, right? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah. Are you planning to do some like more vlogging? Um, because you've done like a really nice vlog. I've seen that, but like, are you planning to do mm -hmm. other more? I think. That? I mean, the one from holidays. Mm -hmm. I th it was my. Uh, this was my first vlog mm -hmm. thingy, but um, because I've never done it before, mm -hmm. uh, and you said like you gave me like a very good um, feedback to talk more, but it's still like crossing the boundaries when like there's loads of people walking around you and you're like walking with the camera and trying to talk but yeah. you're still a bit shy so this is the this is the point i need to pass and like keep on going just like do my own shit and stuff like this so i think i'm gonna change my youtube to not to be just like a professional makeup artist but do other stuff that i enjoy as well and maybe this is going to be something enjoyable for i think you have so for... much more to show than just being a makeup artist to be honest like, i've got loads yeah. of things but mm -hmm. I just needed a break because there were so many things going on in my head from my personal mm. life and just like in general. So I thought I'm just gonna have a break instead of like filming the videos and doing yeah. like videos that with no energy, with no entertainment and stuff. Um, so I thought let's have a break. Let's just calm down, take yeah. some take take some fresh air, rewind everything what I did, and then start everything from 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 New Year. I think that this is so important. Like it's so important to actually take a step back, take a break sometimes, because uh, if you don't, if you just, if you just keep pushing, it will just burn out. It will and just like be, start hating this, yeah. and then that's, and, there's and no point. Like, and people like when you're you're being yourself, when you're mm -hmm. like, um, when you're being honest with yourself and with your audience as well, instead of like, oh, because you need to do the video every Friday and you need to mm -hmm. do it, because like, you have to do it. It's no, if you don't feel it, don't do it. Just leave it. Because it's going to be crappy anyway. Yeah, like, it's going to be crappy. No, like nobody's going to follow you Plus, and nobody's going to watch you it. You don't really want to pretend. You want to be like... I want to be myself and yeah. I want to fit in this makeup mm -hmm. artist world, which is like yeah. super, super hard and sometimes it's super fake. Mm -hmm. So I just want to be myself. And if you like it, you like yeah. it. If you don't like it, you can leave negative comment. I'm still going to keep on doing this yeah. and I'm going to take some positive, you know feedback out of mm -hmm. this and negative and they're going to change it in a good way you know there's lots of different aspects but you know you still need to keep on going mm -hmm. there are certain like videos that for example you can actually push them through like for example when i when i'm not in a mood i can always do an unboxing which is not ideal and i can actually tell by looking at me that i'm not in my are you still going to be doing mood. unboxing stuff some of them yes uh but i'm actually you not know, doing as many as i used to uh, I stopped doing like those like uh, cheaper boxes. Glossy boxes. Yeah, uh, it's not there's nothing wrong with them, but at some point I just you just end up with such an amount of like product to use up that you don't really want to buy any more of those like cheaper boxes that would just fill your, uh, you know your like boxes and everything like your, your like living space pretty much with stuff that you're not going to use to or honest, you can't really do anything with that. To be honest, you should do a vlog how many like makeup products you've got in your toilet. Toilet. <laughs> In your toilet, it's like a <laughs> massive wall. You're going into the, her oh, yeah. bathroom, and there's like a whole shelf of like cosmetics and stuff. And I bet you're not using half of it. The top shelf. Is I don't Robert's. know. The top shelf is Robert's. So I don't know. You do. Lots of shit. And the bottom shelf is for a cleaning products. So there are only two shelves. Only mere, like two shelves. But no, I do have a lot. I do. I do control how much I have. I also like um, gift, uh, like you know, my Christmas great gifts. Yes. I mean, I do gift some of that stuff to like my family and friends uh, because, you know, this is like the thing, it's like obviously those products are not really cheap and I do have like a lot of products from like like really nice brands and stuff like that so I just create like a nice uh, Christmas gift out of those. Advent calendars. Yeah. And that's, that's very, that, yeah, that's very creative. Uh, so yeah, I think you know, uh, I don't want to keep everything for myself because there's no point really. And you're not going to mm, use it because there's yeah. so many things that yeah. like you're not going to have Mm -hmm. enough time in your life to use all those products so it's better to like give yeah. them as a gift sure. or like giveaways on your instagram mm -hmm. or any yeah. social media than just like waste yeah. it or stuff but i do have a control over what i have it doesn't look like it 
Because it I'm, doesn't. I'm, I'm, I it doesn't. I can't even open the door to the entrance to her house. It's blocked. And she's saying like, thank God you're not fat because otherwise you wouldn't squeeze in my house. I'm like, hm, please. <laughs> true <laughs> that's actually the conversation we had this like a couple of hours ago but yeah <laughs> okay so do you want a bite no i'm fine for now i'm yeah okay so we had a bit of break mm -hmm. uh to refresh yes the glasses let's try some sparkling wine now. sparkling wine yes so uh we got the three um that we think are gonna be the best ones actually we don't have any others i think it's just all the three that we have here so what was it supposed to go the first as, as the lightest one yeah like the 11%. lightest one is 11 percent. then we have the rosy one which is 11 and a half yeah and then we've got the uh let's say the russian label which is 12 percent and oh. we're gonna leave it at the end russian power <laughs> russian power so i think it's gonna be the hardest one mm. where's your glass between my legs <laughs> Amazing. okay oh it's not so bubbly you don't really pop it, you just kind of like open it. Okay. Don't really want to... I feel like New Year's Eve. So. Oh, hold it, maybe. Because I'm not really that stable. <laughs> oh, you didn't take the... No, because it can't, I can't really take them for some reason. If I'm going to drink that, I'm going to be like... Woohoo! And there's two more. And there's two bottles more. Yeah. I'll so see. it's going to be very fun. Yeah, but just a little bit like you can't really go, it come off like in one go. So now we're drinking. It smells, it smells sweet. Brut. 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 Sparkling wine. Is there any? Uh, is there a fragrance called brut? Like men's fragrance. Like a cheap one. Like a cheap one. My dad used to no. use that. <laughs> brut and old spice. Probably. Brut and old spice. Yeah. Oh. Okay, this is mm. nice. Then. Yeah. I was expecting... So, I mean, those wines are so good. Really they? nice. I was <laughs> expecting something more... Uh, blah. Sour or whatever. Sour. Like, I need to show you this this fragrance. Uh, Do you remember Axe? I think there was Axe. Axe? Is it still Axe? Mm -hmm. um, fragrance in the shape of cigar. Oh, this one. Uh, Cuba Paris. I don't know this. Do you remember this one? No. No? no I oh my, my God. I don't think my father used that. <laughs> This one, it's so old. It has no, like, really? I don't know, maybe 15 years or something. <laughs> it's in a massive shape of like a cigar. So you could get it like a tiny pieces or like yeah. the big one. We uh -huh. don't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Where but I remember. Where do you live? Old Spice. <laughs> old Spice. Old Spice. Was, old I spice. think everybody's father w was wearing Old Spice. In the white something. bottle? Yeah. The one that you like, mm -hmm. just like right. after so, shave. It was like a, smelled like a, like a gingerbread or something like that. It had this, like a, almost like a gingerbread mm. fragrance, like a sweet, ish, a little ish. bit like, yeah. It was a very American uh, yeah. fragrance. What, what what do you think? What do you think how, how the new year is going to look? I really hope that in general this 2022 will be like closer to 2019, for example, in the way of like normalcy. Like I think it's going to be, I hope it's going to be back to normal. I hope, I hope we'll be able to travel again and, you know... Without, without any like, problems. Yeah, because, you know... You, we, so It's so difficult now to get, like, yeah. a flight. It's not like you're booking your flight yeah. and you're going to the airport, you're flying. You, have you need to, to have the this and this yeah. and this. No. You need to be vaccinated before, you need to have the test before and after. And you're mm. paying so much money. This is the yeah. worst thing that is pissing me off. Then you need to pay so much money before and after. And there's so much hustle. Mm. Especially for like older people, like for my mom, yeah. when she needs to travel, she needs to do so many things, but she wouldn't be able to do that without my help. Yeah. So she doesn't understand English and like she yeah. does, but not in like such a mm. good way. So how can she figure out that she needs to do this before the flight, that she needs to figure out those kind of papers. Yeah. This is like very... It is complicated. It yeah. is very complicated. So your mom is coming for Christmas? I hope so. Yeah. On the 21st. So I got her tickets for the whole week. Mm -hmm. So 21st till the 28th. Mm, okay. So Tuesday from Tuesday to Tuesday. So, yeah, she's going to spend the whole week. What with are us. you planning to do over Christmas? Some Polish meals or something um, like that? Or, yeah, we're um, going we're gonna to order some stuff from the um, Polish restaurants. Because as usual, we're not making like everything from the top. Mm -hmm. So we're just ordering some dumplings and oh, yeah. just making extra like spices to it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's going to taste nice. Taste nice. So you're glad that you spent some time with your mom around yeah. Christmas. Yeah. I mm -hmm. hope she's going to come. Mm -hmm. There's going to be no restrictions. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm going to be very sad because, again, 
Yeah, I hope we'll be able to go out. I mean, go away for like those like two weeks. But you know, who knows? You, know, you can never know. I don't. I don't like focus too much on it because if something like just you're gonna be too happens, I kind of want, yeah, I kind yeah. of want to have this like um, you know, if it happens, it happens. If not, then we'll sort it out here. You're, you're so calm. I try to be. You've done? You're done? Yeah, I'm done. I said to you, I'm I'm thirsty. So we're gonna try the second one. Um, or am I going too fast? Rosy, rosy dry. So we'll see how this one is gonna taste. Mm -hmm. I think the last one is gonna be the worst, the most horrible one. This is Chardonnay. This one, I mean, not this one, the, the last one. It's not really Russian, it's actually French. French, but, but it looks like it Russian. Looks, it looks Russian. Because of that golden kind of like... Doesn't taste. Oh. Do you know what? Some people when they're watching, they like, they like the sound of like, you know, different stuff, so. ASMR. <laughs> it's like a commercial. Oh, you can keep sniffing, they're like experts. Yeah. <laughs> you are an expert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wine drinking. Like maybe you should like just <laughs> put it in your mouth, like, you know, just hold it for mm. a bit and then spit it out, like, you know, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't spit it out because this is a bit sweeter than the previous one, yeah? I think. Do you feel the bubbles are more bubbly? <laughs> Maybe. Can you say that? I didn't, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you can say that, but I'm not sure if that's how I, I mean, I think it's a little bit sweeter, this one. It is sweeter, but you can feel the bubbles are more tingly in your mouth than the first one. Well, maybe, yeah. The first one was like... Mm, more delicate with the bubbles and this oh, one. Oh yeah, I kind of get more what fizzy, you mean. fizzy. Mm -hmm. Oh, fizzy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you get Rob's linguistic pleasure? Yeah. Pleasure. I said. What did you get? I can't tell because he'll be editing this video. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't get anything for Damien. You didn't get anything for Damien. No. Are you going to? No. 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 Because mm. he's such a difficult person it to get a good. present. He can buy himself whatever he wants. That's the first thing. And mm -hmm. whatever I'm buying, he's like, oh, I like it. And then he doesn't use it. Mm -hmm. So we thought this year we're just going to spend money for like a amazing dinner. Mm -hmm. Or we're going to go somewhere. I'm just going to put the money to... That's actually a good present, you know, to buy something like an activity or like, a, you know, like an experience. Yeah. For both of you. That's actually a great idea. Instead of spending money for like... Mm -hmm. I remember last year he said, um, I don't know what to get to you. Just find yourself something. Send me a link and I'm going to buy it. I'm like... Afford. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of this, just like don't buy me anything. So this year, we said we're gonna just like top up mm -hmm. with some kind of an yeah. amount, and then we're gonna go like I don't know, like a nice restaurant, right, or, nice like, restaurant you know, or something, just like a like, spa, jacuzzi, yeah, whatever, or, uh -huh. like a weekend for two or something like this. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be better because actually, you know, I don't like Christmas, mm -hmm. so I you yeah. can have presents every 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 day during the year. So I love Christmas. But have you ever been to Scotland? No. Uh, just, uh, this is like actually a good idea for like maybe not necessarily win in winter, but like springtime. Scotland is so beautiful. Uh, Damien doesn't drink. You don't, I'm not sure how you feel about whiskey, but obviously you have like a lot of whiskey there. But uh, like, you know, it's beautiful for other reasons. Like I, I don't drink whiskey. And I I've never been it. to Scotland. Yeah, it's a far it's away. Amazing. It's like four hours from Manchester. So, I mean, Manchester is actually, I mean, you know. Are you driving or are you flying? You're driving, like when you're flying, I think it's like maybe one hour with everything. But if you're driving, it's like four hours, so it's not that bad. And uh, you go there for like three weeks, three, three weeks, three, three weeks. days, Jesus three days. Jesus Christ, three weeks in Scotland. No, three, I mean, I'm pretty sure you actually managed to do something because Scotland is actually amazing. Like you go from the point to point and everything looks a bit different. It's actually really pretty. You should go there. You should go to Scotland. Scotland. Everyone yeah. is saying to go to Scotland, yeah. but I think Scotland looks very uh, more rainy than Manchester. That's true. Oh, see. But if you go like around May, June, that's you have the biggest chance of like a nice weather. Mm. Mm -hmm. For a few days, yeah. three, four days. Mm. Mm. It would be good to get a camper and then just drive yeah. from one point to another. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you mm. drive a camper with like a normal driving license? If this is a car, like a camper car, then yes. But if what this is, is like car? a, like a you know the whole car with a camper back, on the back. You might, you know. No, if it's like there's something that you have to drag, then you have to have this license for like. Uh, yeah, so it's like a special driving. License, yeah. 
Guys, you're gonna learn so many things from this video. So many Polish words, very necessary. Polish words, very mm -hmm. necessary mm -hmm. in your life. Like yeah. przytepa. <laughs> przytepa. <laughs> That's what you're showing. Just like showing the, maybe Rob is gonna put the word przytepa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, that's some... Skills, you never know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> you. <laughs> Have you showed your um, oh. slippers? Because um, it's super cold in Paulina's house, and it's I said super cold. It's like twenty it is degrees. Cold. Twenty degrees. Yeah. I don't know where, and your back maybe, <laughs> but from the floor is like so cold. So I asked, like, could you got, could you give me some flippers, Sli slipper, flippers, slippers, mm -hmm. slippers, slippers, and she stole them from a hotel, and she was like, here you go. <laughs> I didn't steal them. Yeah, yeah, you did. Free. Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> you did. <laughs> Complimentary slippers. Complimentary slippers. <laughs> From a hotel, Hilton Hotel, just around the corner, <laughs> if you were asking or something. <laughs> so let's drink from the slippers. Yeah. I hope the last one, because this one is going to be like a cherry on top of this video. Yeah. Because soon we're going to be finishing. It's from 2019, so I think it's going to be quite strong, 12%. Yeah, it's 12%. Yeah. And uh, finger crossed, it's not going to taste like the... Ruskoye Gristoye? Ruska Regristia, Zdrastvitsia. I think I wanted to learn Russian, but that never actually happened. So I just learned to read those letters and um, it kind of stayed with me. I think I'm but not I'm, sure, I, but I think in my... Properly. When I was going to kinder nursery, what is it called? Nursery, nursery yeah. mm -hmm. Do you remember that we were trying to uh, write in those lines? Mm -hmm. And they had something on in front of, like, uh, above the blackboard all those letters and mm -hmm. they were like looking like Russian stuff but they mm -hmm. didn't taught us Russian or maybe they did no they didn't no no we're a bit too young for that like that sounds funny but yes we're a bit too young for that I think uh, the uh, people that were like a couple years older than me that I had like Russian in school uh, but for us it was what, what did you learn earlier? Uh, yeah I learned German in school mm, which I don't which school like nursery uh, not nursery I think I don't think it has like many languages in the nursery, but uh, uh, primary English. school. Oh, primary school English. Uh, yeah. I had German. I had German in tech technicum, technical mm. school. I hate yeah. it. Hate mm. it. Have you ever been to Germany though? Yeah, once. Yeah. Yeah, to see Damien's, um, my boyfriend's brother's communion. He has a brother. And I don't sister. Know. I don't have a sister, but I don't know about a brother. Yeah. So his sister is twenty eight. Mm -hmm. And his brother had communion last year, oh, no, two years ago. Uh, uh, where does his family live? Like, what part of Germany? Um, Dortmund. Dortmund, okay. okay. I was trying to sound German. Mm. Or so is, it, is Dortmund like a kind of like a um, like Polish Silesia a little bit, what? like very industrial Silesia, Schlonsk? Don't remember. Industrial? I don't know. I might I might be wrong, but I mm. industrial? Can... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> he said it's cold here, but look. Uh, so I've been to Bra no, okay, maybe Brazil. Brazil. I've been Brazil. to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I don't know where we get the Brazil from, but okay. <laughs> mm. oh. And this is the last bottle that we've had for um, the um, Advent wine calendar. Yes. And it's the strongest one, so it's 12%. Um, so let's see how it's going to taste. Maybe it will surprise us. You know, so all of these like, pro products so far are actually quite good. We're very good. Yeah. So maybe that one is going to be the worst one. Or maybe this is going to be uh, like a cherry on top and it's going to be yeah. super amazing. Um, or maybe they're just mediocre. We'll or maybe see. just like a normal, mm -hmm. normal one. So you need to take yours. Kind of, uh, twist it. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest, we're mm -hmm. not... Um, I don't feel tipsy. I mean, yeah. maybe a little bit. Slightly. Mm -hmm. Slightly. But if we would drink all of those bottles, thank God we had some doubles of those bottles because otherwise I think I would be like just laying on the floor and just like myself mm. and laughing from Paulina. I have a question for you. Go on. Are you planning to go anywhere nice uh, the upcoming year, like 2022? <laughs> Apart from Amsterdam, because I know you love going to Amsterdam. Yes, and we're going on in March. Okay. <laughs> and we're going in March already. Uh, my, With? Me, Damon and Rosa. Hmm. So okay. my bestie got us a um, Christmas present and mm -hmm. she bought us a ticket to Amsterdam. Oh, how nice. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going on the 2nd of March. 
just for one day. So we were flying about like seven ish. Oh. And then we were spending all day in Amsterdam, just smoking, mm. eating as much as possible. And then we're coming back on the last flight. It's about like oh, quarter, past, quarter past ten. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's her present. And I bought her, um, and I'm gonna buy her actually uh, tickets for Sean Paul because she's a uh, oh, weird Oh, she's a fan. Everybody yeah, knows she's that. Super, <laughs> yeah, she's a big fan of Sean Paul. And she yeah. said she's gonna be, because um, um, uh, Sean Paul is having a tour next year in uh, in UK. So Birmingham, Manchester, uh, mm -hmm. all those like big cities. And yeah. So uh, she's planning to travel around Sean Paul with him. Uh, like maybe behind him or in, I don't Aww. know. We'll see. Finger <laughs> crossed. Yeah, so I'm gonna buy her tickets and the pre sales are on two days. Mm, okay, so I have to be careful too. Yeah, I need to remember that. And um, where are we going? Mm, I don't know. We didn't plan anything actually. Mm. It's just, just Amsterdam in our plans in March. But um, other than that, I think it's gonna be quite spontaneous. We want to go to Budapest. Budapest. Mm -hmm, in Hungary, because uh, I mean, we planned that like two years ago for Robert's birthday, like in February uh, tw 2020. But you know, I mean, what happened happened, life. right? When everybody knows life happens. Um, unexpected, but you know, could be worse, right? Uh, so we're hoping to go this year. Budapest. Budapest. Uh, yeah. I've never seen Budapest. What's well, in Budapest? Apparently, it's pretty. Everybody loves it. So. Budapest. Also, we're going to the festival in Slovenia, so that's going to be a new uh, country for me. I've never been to Slovenia. Okay, let's okay, start let's, this. let's see the last one. Hmm? I, I don't know if you noticed, but loads of people on TikTok are doing things like that. They're like having those very expensive microphones and they're like, yeah. you know, doing loads of... No, that was relaxing, like ASMR or something like that, that relaxing sound yeah, where people yeah, yeah. actually read something in like a very kind of quiet, like almost whisper voice. Yeah, or they're yeah. just like yeah. doing this or mm. putting like loads of different Or like reading textures. a book and yeah. like, you know, just like... The paper. You know, the, yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or they're just putting yeah. loads of different textures on the microphone. Maybe that's our so. future, Arthur. It sounds like from professional commercial. Mm -hmm. So... This is the last one. So this okay. is the last one. So I think we should um, have a have a toast. Yes. For um, an amazing 2022. For a, oh God, it sounds like New Year's Eve. For an amazing 2022. We're almost there. Yeah. We're almost there. <laughs> three weeks. Mm, yeah. Few more from days. Now, from, from now. From what you're watching, this will probably be shorter. Um. So. What? I can't believe it. By the way, like 2021. Time flies so fast. quick, and getting older every year. Yeah. Um. More optimist optim more optimism in your life yeah and loads of like success in yes. just in life i don't yeah i really just, hope, just just in general yeah. in life I really more like hope. happiness and yeah less less worries in so now that next life. year is much better for us or like you know like much more positive and for you too guys yeah <laughs> yeah this one is sh like um it's not as sweet it's kind of like more dry definitely it's not yeah. bad yeah it's not bad but it uh, it does taste like the Russian one. So I think I'm gonna skip that one. Thank you. No? No. 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 Okay. The first two are okay, but this one definitely tastes like... Um... Okay, at least we had a toast with it, so... <laughs> at least. Have some sausage. But... but <laughs> I'm gonna have some cheese. I'm gonna eat all your cheese. But <laughs> from everything what we got, those are my favorites so we've got the red wine mm -hmm. bordeaux yeah bordeaux with Mer merlot, yeah. Mm -hmm. merlot then we have this mm, amazing slim uh, feminine bottle with the rosé mm -hmm. cup de gré i don't mm -hmm. know what it's, how to say and the white wine which i'm not a fan of white wines but this one was very nice mm -hmm. mm, sauvignon blanc yeah and everything was Coming from the same brand, mm -hmm. Calvet. And then we have some sparkling wines, which is good too. And, yeah, these two. Different brands, but also good. Right? Apart from, yeah, apart from the But these two, one. they were like a different brand. The, the, the other one was like a different brand, right? Yeah. Brut Dargent. So, no. these two good, this, this one. This one, not All right-ish, right but not too much. Yes, guys, so... <sighs> I think we're going to say goodbye now. This was goodbye. very cheerful. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. Bye. Yeah. This was very cheerful. Um, 
episode and very um relaxed i would say relaxed. Like not really too many serious things about it with not many serious stuff to talk about like yep. swatches and makeup and beauty and whatever no. um i hope you enjoyed that video mm -hmm. um and i hope um you're gonna see me more uh, here here on this couch with a different background <laughs> finger crossed shut up <laughs> <laughs> with a yeah. different background um and um yeah we'll see what's gonna bring new year for my youtube yeah. channel what's gonna happen with with uh, definitely with my social media stuff um so just yeah. you know i'm gonna take it easy take it easy step by step step by step so yeah thank you very much for watching um now i think it's time to say goodbye goodbye and let's or just see you next time see you next and time and we're going to proceed with our cheese and uh, wines and wines because there is lots to um finish yes I can't stay like that for long because you know you never know you never know so all so, right ching ching so, hi <laughs> can you stop it oh my eyes look at my eyes this one this one